So today I'm going to be reviewing the uh, mobile game Out of Water. Funny story about this game, it's for like uh, six-year-olds, like I got it for my son Henry, and uh, he played it a couple times, he would just, you know, do this, no big deal. It's just, you, you have a, it's basically just a skipping rocks game, only you're skipping fish, and different fish have different kinds of uh, skills, and then you can use your little boosties, if you just press the, uh, you just press and you get a boostie, and you're trying to get as many skips as possible while also getting a lot of distance. And it's basically a balancing act between the kinds of fish, like this this guy, he goes really far, but he doesn't bounce as many times, you know? And you can pick up those suns, they give you a little bit of extra boost. So right, I get this game for my, at the time, five-year-old son, and uh, he opens it up, plays it a couple times, he's like, it's alright, Dad, it's not, it's not anything great, it's just not that, uh, you know, it's not that, like, intellectually or emotionally engaging. And, uh, but he, he did like this. He liked that you could, uh, sort of make, um, different colors of jewels if you, uh, it, there I got the green charm, for instance. Um, you could make different colors of jewels if you did, uh, if you did certain things within the game, like if you completed certain goals and stuff. And, uh, then I, I didn't want to, like, pay for him to get those, uh, gems. You can pay, like, five dollars and get all the gems that you want, but, uh, you know... That's just five dollars wasted, really, was my thinking. So I was like, ah, that's fine, Henry. I, you know what I'll do? I'll play the game for you, since you don't find it that um, intellectually uh, or emotionally engaging. I'll just play it for you a little bit. Um, as you can see, I'm pretty good. Uh, um, I'm actually much better than that. I wasn't trying hard. Uh, I'm embarrassingly good. Uh, what happened was that I got, uh, I got kind of into playing Out of Water. Um, and uh, here I am several months later maybe the best uh, out-of-water player um, alive in the world today. I consistently rank in the top, like, uh, three or four. That was a really bad throw. I apologize to my friends and family. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm nervous. Oh, no, I've got to give footage to Zuleya at noon. Um, <laughs> I'm glad that was an unembarrassing calendar update. Um, it wasn't like, go get colonoscopy. So, um, right. I consistently rank among the two or three best uh, out-of-water players in the world each day. Um, but based on the out-of-water usernames, like the usernames of the other players, I think that I am also the only adult player of this game, which is, of course, a massive built-in advantage. As you can see, every 10 minutes the weather changes, which makes things very exciting. And each, uh, each different weather pattern requires a slightly different out-of-water strategy. I'm not, I haven't done well this time, by the way. I've just been focusing on other things. The other thing, yeah, I mean, 7.8. They say it's groovy, but I think we all know that's embarrassing. Um, the other thing that you can do is you can put on costumes. I've unlocked all of the costumes because um, I'm way, way, way too good at this game. Uh, so I like Pirate Rocket, for instance. He's And then Afro Olympus is fantastic. Um, and then, uh, I don't like Headphone Finley. Those are the only ones I actually need. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a, uh, Olympus here, and uh, I'm just going to... He's going to do a great job, don't worry. Even in this bouncy weather, he's still going to be great. So the problem is that I... I mean, I... So I... I I don't want to, I, I don't like to blame everything that goes wrong in my life on my mental health problems, but I do have this uh, disease called, called obsessive compulsive disorder that I, I think uh, matches up really exceptionally poorly with uh, games like Out of Water. I'm just so freaking good at it, and it feels so good to be the best in the world, you know? Um, that I do, I play a little bit um, obsessively. But on the other hand, like, isn't there a pleasure to beating seven-year-olds? Not like, obviously not like physically harming them, but like, isn't there a pleasure to being the best at something in the world, even if everyone else who's playing is a child? When I watch my son play soccer, I often think, gosh, I would, I would, I would dominate this game. Like, if I could just, if they would like sub me in, Henry's team would win every time. I, and it's not that I'm that great at soccer. It's just that, like, you know, they're sick, so they're that bad. This is going to be a significantly better score. Yeah, as you can see, things have improved. They say it's amazing. I think 9.5. For me, it's just okay. I like to get straight 10s, even from, uh, that's distance Dorothy. She bases her um, grades on how far you go. There's hard to please Harwood. He's the one you really, he's the hard 10. He's the one that, that is slow to give the 10s. So, yeah, this, um, this game, which I downloaded for my son, has now uh, become a central part of how I live my life. Uh, I would like to do something else with my life. Like, you know, I often think about all of the things that I might be doing productively 
in lieu of pleasing hard to please Harwood, you know, the other people in my life I might make happy, um, who aren't uh, red crabs created by Half Brick Studios. But at the same time, there is something just incredibly fulfilling about pleasing hard to please Harwood. These games are so brilliantly designed around the human, um, like the human urges to success. Uh, you know, they're just they're just hard enough to keep you playing. Um, and uh, I have to say that in in that respect, Out of Water is a complete success, presumably for the five year olds it was intended for, but certainly for the middle aged men um, <laughs> who ended up playing it. So that is the story of Out of Water. You can see here, King Micro, just, he just, he loves to skip. He's got a dream. That was only 8.8. .8. I'm better than that, but I can't, I've never been a pressure performer. And here you are watching me, and I find myself completely unable uh, to get the 10s that I am totally capable of getting in regular life, I promise. Um, this guy, he's useless. He just bounces really high. He's... Just, I don't, why did, why did I even choose to throw this guy, Meredith? This was a terrible mistake. I think I'm going to stop playing this game. Like, not just now, but hopefully forever. Thanks for watching. See you next week.